revolution in the history of the world has ever started with mass consensus. It has never started with mass agreement. Every revolution has always started because one person had an idea and then they found somebody else who said, I like your idea, and then all of a sudden they built from there. The, what you are doing can not just be a moment, it literally can be a movement. And I know some of you are saying, yeah, but look, it ain't that many of us out here in Portland. But do understand, it does not matter because guess what? It wasn't that many of us in Montgomery. It wasn't that many of us in Birmingham. It was only four students in North Carolina A&T who went to a lunch counter. And then when word spread what they did, that thing spread like wildfire. Can you imagine what would happen if all of a sudden folks begin to say how Portland was transformed by virtue of a handful of black parents redefining the black family? Then that thing begins to spread. Then all of a sudden it begins to spread across the country. And then you link up with somebody in Chicago. There's somebody in Seattle. There's somebody in LA. There's somebody in Charlotte. There's somebody in St. Louis. And then all of a sudden that thing begins to mushroom. Why? Because you were intentional. And then you look up five or 10 or 15 years later. And then you see drop on rate decreasing. Then you see HIV AIDS rates decreasing. Then you see home ownership increasing. Then you see graduation rates, then you see reading rates, then you see math rates, then you see all of those things changing because you begin to redefine a community. It has happened before, it can happen again. We are not resigned to a life of black folks simply living a negative existence. We have the ability and the capacity to change our community, to change our neighborhoods, but that cannot change unless we change our homes. It can't change a home unless we change our minds. And all it takes is one person in that house saying, this is how we are going to move forward. We are not going to live in the past. We literally are going to change this house and then change this house, this street, this street, this block, this block, this neighborhood, and you build it from there. But you have to have the willingness to do it. The question is, what are you prepared to do today?